Streaming now, this is the Wood TV Live Desk. And good morning, everyone. Phil Panarski here with the Wood TV Live Desk. Hope you're having a fantastic start to your Tuesday. This week, we are celebrating nurses all across the country with National Nurses Week. It's been a holiday since 2003, and it allows us the chance to thank our healthcare workers and joining us today to talk a little bit more about the importance of nurses and nursing as a profession, we are now being joined by Lee Small. She is the Dean of the College of Nursing at Michigan State University. Lee, thank you so much for being here this morning. Sure, thank you for uh, highlighting nurses during nursing week. It's an important week for us. Mm -hmm, absolutely, and I feel like a lot of people, myself included, either know somebody in their family or a friend or really just somebody who is in this profession and you know just kind of understands a little bit about the importance of nursing as a profession but I feel like there is still a lot that uh, really needs to be highlighted you know post pandemic uh, you know the nurses are still working I know we highlighted it a bunch about all the things that healthcare workers were during doing during the pandemic but that still is there even post uh, the height of the pandemic, there is still a lot of work being done by nurses. Um, if you could just, in your own words, I know you're very passionate about the career of nursing. Could you just kind of talk about why you're so passionate about nursing? Yeah, so um, I think that what you're bringing up is really important because I think this is a really important time to reunite nurses and nursing students with their why. Why did they ever want to become a nurse? I will tell you that I had a niece who passed away when she was eight years old of acute lymphocytic leukemia. And that made me really want to be a nurse to really try to take care, the best care of people. So that's my why. And it has changed over time as I have seen people who have done amazing things as nurses and helped some amazing people through the worst or uh, most challenging um, pathways in their life. So that's my why. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, you know, as, as I mentioned, there's a lot that nurses are going through. Could you just kind of touch on just the scope of what a day in the life of a nurse is? I mean, it's not just helping out with the doctors. There's a whole plethora of things that nurses are doing by themselves in the hospital setting or in a different healthcare setting. Like, what is the actual normal day to day of just the scope of what nurses do? Well, um, that's a really good question. Uh, so for every three physicians, there are actually 10 nurses and nurses in number across the United States are 4.2 million. So there are many nurses and I would say that we are the glue that holds healthcare together. We're the people who interact with the individuals and take care of all of their needs, as well as watching their physiologic status, as well as their mental health status at the same time. And it starts oftentimes early in the morning or very late at night. Many nurses who work at the bedside work 12 hour shifts and they work three days a week at 12 hour shifts. But those 12 hours are very, very strenuous and really mentally taxing for nurses. I think the latest statistics are that nurses um, lift about 1.8 tons of weight and they walk in 12 hour shift anywhere from three to five miles. So nursing is, is a really physically challenging um, uh, profession to be in, but it's also mentally challenging as well. And I would say it is those that combination of things while providing very personalized care that makes people really want to be a nurse. Mm -hmm. And you did touch on just some of those, uh, I wanna say difficulties with carrying the massive amounts of weight and always being really on your feet during those times. Uh, but from your own personal experience or from your experience as a professor and hearing from uh, people going into the nursing profession, what are maybe some other difficulties um, that they may experience or that you maybe have experienced that the general public probably doesn't know about? I think a lot of people uh, know that nurses, you know, are moving around a lot, obviously, but I mean, there is a whole other aspect to this, uh, the mental side of things and other physical things that uh, people just probably don't even realize. Yeah, that's a really good point. So stress is a very, um, um, 
pointed issue in nursing. As you can imagine, you know nurses who have taken care of either you or your loved ones and uh, through some of the most personal challenges in their life. And so to carry that burden, it becomes an awful lot. And that's, I think, what we recognized during COVID, having a patient pass away um, is not a common thing to happen to a nurse, believe it or not. But during COVID, that happened quite often. And so it's really important, we've learned, because of the stress um, that nurses need to be uh, have resiliency training, and they need to know how to take care of themselves and put themselves as number one. And they need to seek out uh, places of employment that also put them in their mental well being at number one. So I would say stress is one of the things that many people may not realize um, is very difficult for nurses. Um, but I think that one of the things we're doing at MSU that um, I think is really going to be very helpful is doing a lot of resiliency training, helping people to really learn how to take care of themselves and prioritize themselves because self-care is the uh, fourth aspect of care, the quadruple aim. Some people will talk about the quadruple aim. So um, that's one aspect that I think that nobody realizes about nursing. We all go into nursing because we very much care about people. We're very compassionate and caring individuals. And so seeing people struggle is very difficult for us. Mm -hmm. And you did touch a little bit on that earlier, and I kind of did want to circle back, Lee, if you wouldn't mind, just on the why of going into nursing. You said that a lot of nurses that go in, into it are very caring and want to take care of a lot of patients and other people and kind of be there for them during these uh, pretty traumatic times. Uh, but I, if you just kind of wouldn't mind, just keep going forward on that thought, the why of going into nursing and why uh, this is just such a uh, chosen profession by so many people. Well, I think that the United States um, uh, populace has uh, cast their vote that nurses are is the most trusted profession, and that is because of the human element that we take such personal care of individuals. So um, from my perspective, when you know that you can make a difference in how people perceive their experiences and how they remember their experiences, that's a really important um, role to play in anybody's health care because it is about how the nurses treat people and care for people that makes them remember things that may have been a very difficult time, but maybe they remember it in a really positive way. Mm -hmm, right. And uh, once again, Phil Panarski here with the Wood TV Live Desk talking to Lee Small. She is the dean over at Michigan State University's nursing program. We're talking about National Nurses Week, the week of the year where we celebrate nurses and all that they do. Lee, kind of wrapping up, I did want to touch on just MSU's nursing program. You're in charge of that over in East Lansing. I uh, did want to kind of just give you the opportunity to talk about uh, the program, what people who maybe are in the program right now just starting out can expect, or maybe people that are thinking about heading into the nursing field and are looking at MSU as a potential option there, what they can sort of expect to see once they hit campus. Well, I, I would have to say that I'm very honored and proud to have been offered this role. I work with the best educators that I've ever known, and I've worked at five different institutions. I think that the uh, nursing faculty here are just par excellence, and they treat each student with a lot of care and concern. So that's first. I will say that their job is not easy, but we uh, really relish when we have our graduates who leave us um, this past weekend, we had 83 undergraduate students graduate, and we had 70, excuse me, 59 Doctor of Nursing practice students leave us, five master's students, and one nurse scientist newly minted. And that makes it all worthwhile. I really can't say enough about our students. 
I would um, say that we have a traditional nursing program, which is a four-year program, an accelerated nursing program for those people who already have a baccalaureate degree, and that's a 15-month program. Um, but we also offer five different graduate um, nursing programs, one in nurse anesthesiology, um, clinical nurse specialists, as well as three nurse practitioner uh, specialties in psych mental health, which is very needed both here in Michigan and, and nationally, as well as family nurse practitioners, adult gero nurse practitioners. So we have a lot of programs here um, and we are just very excited when people are very passionate about nursing and they want to excel the, in their academic program of study. We're here to support them. Mm -hmm. Right, and obviously congrats go out to those graduates uh, from the nursing program. Lee, I did want to end on one important note for everybody to kind of take away from this conversation, and it, it is uh, what is sort of the best way to thank a nurse? Is, uh, you know, just from your own personal experience or from what you've heard, what's, what sort of helps nurses feel the most appreciative, especially in a week like this where they're supposed to be honored and uh, celebrated for all that they do? Well, I think just saying thank you, just showing gratitude for what nurses do every single day, even though they may not be in a particular situation, even if they meet somebody out at Starbucks and they learn that they're a nurse, just to say thank you is really, really important. Gratitude is a really important way to um, make people feel as though something that they're doing is really appreciated. So thank you for asking that. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely. And Lee, we want to thank you so much for coming on the live just today. We really do appreciate it. I want to remind everybody watching that uh, Nurse, National Nurses Week lasts until May 12th, so you do have that long to really celebrate and honor these healthcare workers. If you're watching us on Facebook, I encourage everybody to click that link in the description box and in the comment section. It will take you to a story regarding one Grand Rapids nurse and her being honored as part of National Nurses Week. Lee, once again, thank you so much for being here. We really do appreciate it. Oh, wonderful. Thank you for talking with me. And thank you for being grateful also for nurses during Nurses Week. Mm -hmm. Yes, no, absolutely. And I do want to thank everybody else for tuning into this latest edition of the Wood TV Live Desk. I'm Phil Panarski, and we hope you have a great rest of your day.